Hello. Hello, who am I on to? This is Cherish, Alex's sister. Oh, hi Cherish, how are you doing? I'm even called to be all chatty with you. I don't understand. Listen up, my brother has been mad at my mom since she reported her to him. I had to report her. Yeah, well, she give me a breathing space. We will never give you space until you leave my brother alone. Not in your wildest dream day. Your brother is mine and there is nothing you can do about it. Don't ever call. Hello. Hello? These people are driving me crazy. Which people? You suppose don't know now. Nah? Alex, mom. Alex sister called me today saying I've caused her brother to be angry with her mom because I reported her to Alex. Were you supposed to report her before? Stupid people. And she even had the audacity to tell me to stay away from her brother. <laughs> How old is she? About 21. She's still a kid indeed. Come in. My guy. Alex, you came to my office today. Why are you so pissed? Don't I visit you? You barely visit me in the office, except there is a reason. Yes, there is a reason. I said it. What is it? I have an offer for you. An offer? What offer? I heard your company ready to sell a share. Yes, and we are currently on the search. I and Nora talked about her getting a share. I talked her into buying yours, so she wants to buy a share from your company. What? Nora is buying a share from my company? Yes, she is. Who is in this house? You are just coming back. Yes, is there a problem? MD, when will you stop doing this to yourself? Always drunk and all you do is spend your hard earned money on drinks and bets. It's none of your business. It's my business. Please stop it. It's affecting our son. Which son? That's good for nothing. I won't have you call my son names MD. Oh, you want to beat me? I've told you. I've been calling you. Mama was on a call. On what call? Call that wicked girl brother calls fiancé. Why would I call her? I don't like the fact that brother is mad at you because of that witch. I will so deal with that girl. And she even had the cause to tell me she will never leave my brother alone. That there is nothing we can do about it. Eh, we shall see. Yes, so. Result is out though. Who told you? Very funny question. Don't forget who I am in this school. I'm not forgetting. Have you checked your GP? Forever a distinction student. <laughs> you are lucky, yo. And you don't even study. That's why we run this school. You can say that again, girl. Thanks, baby. I saw the beautiful necklace you got me. Oh, it's nothing. I always want you to be happy. I wish I could be, baby. Why not? Is it the whole drama going on? To be honest, I want your mom to like me. Since I lost my mom, I always dreamt of treating my mother-in-law just like my mom. I understand, baby. Just give it time. What matters is, I'm head over ease with you. I love you. Oh, don't forget, I'm not just marrying you, but your family. I know, baby. And I wanted to tell you to please talk to your little sister. She doesn't have any right to call Call me and call me names. She should accord me some respect. She did what? What rubbish? Calm down, baby. I just want you to talk calmly with her. She's a kid. Kid my foot. Amanda, I'm glad you could come. Why not? Well, I needed to talk to you. Okay, I'm all ears. How old is your daughter? She's 24. Oh, wow. Still young. I'm really looking forward to my son marrying her. But I've got some things bothering me. What is bothering you? The fact that your daughter is still in school and she drives the latest cars and wears expensive clothing. If my son is going to marry her, I've got to know few things about her. You have nothing to be worried about. Whatever you see my daughter with, her father's family got them for her. They are wealthy people and they never want to see their late brother's only child suffer. Oh, that's good. At least now I've cleared my curiosity. Yes, yeah, so... Andy, Andy. What does this woman want again? Oh, you are sitting here and I've been calling you. What is it, woman? Shut up your mouth, my friend. Is it me you are referring to as woman? Are you not a woman? As far as I'm concerned, you are the woman in this house. I'm the one always feeding for the kids. What about the money I always bring? You are chicken change. You must be sick. Now listen, I'm going out. Make sure you make lunch for the kids when they are back. And also bait and help them with their assignments. I'll be back late. What kind of wala is this? <laughs> Linda. Yes, mom. Come over here. I want to talk to you. Yes, mom. I'm just coming from our neighbor's place. Okay.
She's really serious about you marrying her son. She showed me pictures of him. He's so handsome and he looked healthy. Oh wow, I can't wait to see him. I know dear. But you have to play your games well. She asked me a very funny question. What question mom? That how come you have different flashy cars and stuff. What? I wasn't expecting she would ask that question. Trust me now, I told that your father's family got them for you, that they love you so much and will never want you to lack anything. Ah, mom. Mom like no other. You deserve a new rapper for this. You can say that again. I'm the rapper now. Andy, don't ask me who. Why are you just coming? I had to make lunch for my kids first. No vex. You? Make lunch? What happened to your wife? Uh, she wasn't feeling so well. She knelt down and begged me to help her. I couldn't say no. Okay, we hope she's better. Yes, she is. Thanks. Okay now. Nah. Okay, are you ready? Where's your money? If this bed doesn't enter, I'm done with it. Don't worry, it will. Eh, this Linda is the perfect girl for my son. Someone I can control easily and tell what to do. Not that girl that has opened eye. That one that's always controlling my son. Never. I want a wife that will be at my call and obey whatever I say. I can't risk losing my son to a woman. I give birth to him and no woman can take him away from me all in the name of wife. Linda is obedient, young and can easily be controlled. She's the right one for my son. Yes, she is. And over my dead body will Alex marry that stupid girl. Hello, brother. Cherish, how dare you? What nerves do you think you have? But I don't understand. Who gave you the idea that you can call my fiancé and talk to her anyhow? But brother, I didn't talk to her anyhow. Will you shut up your mouth? Do you think she's your mate? I'm sorry, brother. But I didn't talk to her anyhow. I only told her that. Save your explanation. Don't ever let it repeat itself. Have I made myself clear? Yes, sir. Good. Rubbish. I talked to her calmly. No, I heard you scold her. She didn't have the right to call you. But babe... Please, it's okay if I scold her. She shouldn't do such. She's just 21. I don't want them thinking I'm turning you against them. But you are not. That's what you will say. But you don't know what they might be thinking. Nora, I really don't care what they think about you. You are going to be my wife. And that's very certain. And very soon. But... No buts, okay? Trust me. My guy, I don't tire. No kids. You have to fight for what you love. I'm trying. And what you give up? Give up, okay. I will never leave Nora for anyone. Then you have to keep fighting. It has gotten to the point of Cherish calling my fiancé to say trash. What? Small Cherish? I'm telling you, my guy. No, nah, it's wrong. Don't anyone disrespect your woman, not even your little sister. I called her and I warned her not to ever try it. And I have to talk to your mom about what I have said. Yes, I called her the other day. You're not doing it right. Visit her, not call her. Well, I'll go visit her next week. Perfect. Madam, what you did is uncalled for. You are mad. How dare you go to Senator House alone? A man I introduced you to. And so, he saw me. And he liked me. And he invited me over. He invited you over or you seduced him. Look at this fool. You think he wouldn't tell me? Aren't you so selfish? You have numerous people in your contacts. What's so special about Senator? Look at this backstabber. Now that you slept with him, how much did he give you? It's none of your business. You ingrate, how dare you? Pack your things and leave my house before I come back tomorrow. You think you can take my clients away from me? You are dreaming. Pack your trash and leave my house. Please, Linda. I didn't mean it that way. Please don't send me out. I don't want to meet you here when I come back. Rubbish. Linda! My girl, what's up now? Freda, are you okay? I don't even know if I am. What's the matter? Richard is cheating on me. What? How? I was at his area, went to deliver some products, and I decided to stop by his place, only for me to meet him with a girl, both sleeping in each other's arm. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, my dear. What's wrong with Richard? I hate men so much. I never want to see him again. Three years of my life, gone just like that. I'm so sorry, you'll meet someone better. I'm so done. Cherish. Amanda, good morning. How are you doing, Gifts? I'm very well. Cherish is not around. She went to class. Oh, okay. Linda asked me to tell her to call her. That she has been trying to reach her. Oh, okay. I will call her and tell her that. Alright, thank you. Hope you are okay. Yes, I'm sure. Alright, dear. Take care. Tonight, let's be spontaneous. Another late night, a warm light on the front stage 